Hello and welcome to this brief introduction to Hawaii Style, the new graphic design plugin for Apple's Final Cut Pro 10 that lets you take a basic text shape or logo and add an almost limitless array of impressive styling effects. Hawaii Style comes complete with no less than 75 professionally designed presets to give you instant, outstanding looking results. But of course every preset can be modified in loads of different ways so there really is no limit to the different looks you can achieve. Hawaii style gives you bevels and complex contours, inner and outer stroke, inner and outer glow, drop shadow, texture effects and erosion, not to mention auto-animated lighting effects. It's an incredibly complete and powerful styling package that's really fun and easy to work with. So let's take a closer look. I've got some text on my timeline that I've created using the Final Cut title tool, but I could equally well use an imported text object or graphic, as long as it has its own alpha channel. Let's come over to the Effects browser and look for Hawaii style. The 75 presets are conveniently arranged in categories. So we've got Chrome, Distressed, Metallic, Outline, Shiny, Stone, Stylized, Synthetic and Ultra Bevel. You'll notice that hovering over the preset will give me a preview of the look in the canvas. I'm going to grab this brushed metal preset from the Shiny category and all I need to do is drag it onto my clip. Now if I scrub through the timeline, you'll notice the automatic animated lighting that adds great production value without you having to touch a thing. The great thing about having so many pre-built presets is you should be able to find something you like without having to change anything. But if you do want to start customising, there's an amazing amount you can do. Let's suppose I want to go for a different colour for this preset. Well, I can come down to the Fill menu and pick a different option. Or easier still, I can grab the Fill Selector slider to cycle through the options. I'll go for Fill number 4. This preset uses the Bevel Max style, which is this complex beveled look, but even within this style there are loads of different contour looks you can achieve. So let's have a look at that. First of all, I'll set the Blend Mode to Multiply, then I'll make a few small adjustments to some of these sliders. That's now a completely different look, much more chiselled and defined. Here's how the original preset looked, and this is where we've got to with just a few quick tweaks. OK, let's try another example and look at a few of the options in more detail. I'll grab this Distress style as a starting point. You'll notice that this style has an area of fine raised detail at the centre of the text. Again, we're using the Bevel Max style, but this time the Erode and Facet controls have been turned way up. If I reduce the Erode value, you can see how that works. And if I adjust the Facet value instead, you can see how that contributes to the sharpness of the result. One of the other characteristics of this style is the distressed edges to the text. If I scroll down and toggle the erosion on and off, you can see how that's being achieved. If I increase the erosion width, more of the text gets eaten away. Let's leave erosion turned off and come back up to the Style Selector. If I slide it to position 2, I can access the Double Bevel mode, which as you can see looks very different but equally interesting. Let's move down the Inspector until we get to the Glow section and turn on the Outer Glow. Notice that the default fill uses whatever I've selected for the face, which means everything matches nicely. Now let's add an outer stroke, and again leave it set to Face Fill. Let's add even more definition by turning on Inner Stroke. 
I'll choose fill number 9 from the menu and I'll increase the size just a little. To add even more to the glow, let's turn on Inner Glow and adjust the size down to about 10. Finally, let's skip back up to the Texture section and from the drop-down menu we'll select Sky. That's a great way of adding a shiny looking reflection and if we really want it to punch through we can set the blend mode to something like soft light. As you've probably gathered by now it's incredibly easy to experiment and come up with your own completely original looks. And that's if you can't find anything you like in the 75 presets. There's way more that I could show you if we had a lot more time but I hope you've been able to see some of the unique power and flexibility of Hawaii style and just how quick and easy it is to use. Hawaii style is available exclusively through Effects Factory, which means you can download a fully functional free trial version and try it out for yourself right now. Thanks for watching.